All right, people, Mr. Wright here with a trumpet lesson dealing with key signatures. Key signatures are our friends. Now, in a key signature, you'll have either sharps or flats. So, uh, but if you have a sharp, think about this. If you sit on something sharp, you raise up a half step. If you have a flat tire, you go down a half step. Well, a sharp raises a note a half step, and a flat lowers a note a half step. If I'm gonna play just a regular F, or a natural F or an F natural first valve on the trumpet, it'll sound like this. Now, if I want to make the tubing shorter and I want to bring that pitch up a half step, notice this tube right here connected to that first valve, it's this long, but if I go to this middle valve, swap to that instead, the tubing's shorter, making the instrument shorter, driving the pitch up a half step. So listen to this. I went from an F to an F sharp. So that's what a sharp does. It raises us a half step. In a key signature, if we see this written, uh, it'll always be written, like a, a sharp will be written on this top F line right here, like a little number sign or a hashtag sign. So it's on that F line. And whenever you see a sharp in a key signature, the F is the first one that'll appear. It's, uh, we'll, we'll deal with sharps first, then we'll talk about flats in just a second. So this is our treble clef, it used to be called the G clef because it used to look like a cursive G and this little swirly thing circled around the G line. So that's our F. That means that all of our Fs, if they're up here on this top line, on this bottom space, or way down here, that's gonna be a F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, and on up higher as well. So uh, they, uh, this one sharp right here applies to every single F that you would have in this piece of music. And uh, you can have, after your bar line, you can have an accidental, like a natural sign that cancels out what you've got in your key signature. I want you to think of this. Uh, imagine this key signature is like the playing rules in a video game, all right? So you've got these original, these rules that set out, and each measure is like a room in this video game that you come to. But once you cross that bar line, um, and you may, maybe you have some kind of an accidental in here, well, this bar line is like a force field that zaps away any little banana peels or accidentals that you may have in this measure. So if I put a natural sign in this measure, well, it's good for this one room right here, this one measure, but once I cross that bar line, it zaps me back to the original playing rules that I had at the beginning of this little game. So this would be an F sharp. This would be an F sharp because of my key signature. Now, if I didn't have this sharp right there, that'd be just a regular F or an F natural, first valve. But because I've got this sharp here, this is gonna be an F sharp middle valve. Ooh, F natural. They've got a little accidental right there. And an accidental can be a flat sharp or a natural sign. But uh, that's gonna be an F natural first valve. This goes back to F sharp because of my original playing rules. We've zapped across that little uh, bar line there that got rid of that uh, accidental right there. Okay, so that's the first sharp that we would come to. And the second one that always appears is a C sharp. And uh, there's a way of memorizing the names of the sharp, or the order of the sharps. It's like fat cows gulp dandelions and eat bushes. And that makes sense because it takes a while for a cow it can easily gulp a, a, a dandelion very quickly, but it takes it a while to eat a bush. Now, the, the opposite for flats is B-E-A-D-G-C-F, okay? That's easy, but for the sharps, fat, cows, and it does this little kind of uh, little zigzaggy pattern. Fat, cows, gulp, up here in the G space. Fat, cows, gulp, dandelions, and eat bushes okay but you normally as a young trumpet player you won't see that many sharps so let's just talk just about just a few of them maybe okay but that's all of them there that you'd come in contact with but f sharp and then c sharp that means that all of your c's on that same space see the heart of that sharp is right there on that second space from the top or third space from the bottom and that also means that all of your low C's would be C sharp. That would be valves one, two, and three. And of course, this high C sharp is valves one and two. And your upper C sharp way up here would also be a C sharp. So that's, that's how that works. And uh, if you also have another sharp, we'll, we'll do one more sharp, fat cows gulp. Okay, that means all of your G's 
up here on this top space right here on this second line from the bottom, they would all become G sharp. You'd finger this G sharp right here, uh, valves two and three. All right, so that deals with most of the sharps that you would see uh, as a middle school trumpet player. Maybe we'll do one more. Fat cows go up dandelions. Let's say a D sharp. Of course, a D sharp, if we have a D right there, that's gonna be middle valve, and your low D sharp right down there, uh, that's gonna also be, you, you think about it this way, you could say it's a E flat or a D sharp, it's the same thing, it's gonna be valves two and three down here, and of course you play this one just middle valve up there. So that's the sharps that you would have, and again, they, it's just like the playing rules for this whole thing. You can have little accidentals thrown in, but once you cross a bar line, it zaps you back to the original playing rules that you have. Now, what if you have flats on the trumpet? So say we have, uh, first of all, let's say there's nothing in here, and that is a key signature in itself, a key of C on the trumpet. So that means if you play a B right here, that's just gonna be a, a regular B or a B natural. That'd be middle valve. Your low B down here would also be middle valve, low B natural, because there's no flat on this B line. If you did put a flat there on that uh, middle line, the B line, what that does then is it lowers these Bs a half step. So instead of uh, middle valve, you'll go to first valve. So I'm gonna put a flat here. And also I need to say this, If I, let, let, let's first say this, uh, if, if there's no flat there, you know, you're going to go B naturals. And also whenever you have an F right here, that's going to be first valve, a regular F natural, F natural right there. And your high F is also a high F natural. And so that's how that would work. So everything is natural. you got your B natural middle valve. So this note right there would be B natural middle valve. Your low B would also be natural middle valve. So just some facts that you have to memorize. But what if we put a flat on this middle line right there? That means that all of our Bs right here are gonna be lowered a half step. Now a regular B, B natural middle valve, and if I want to lower it a half step, I'm gonna to swap to that first valve right here. Notice this tubing's longer, so I'm gonna lower it down a half step from, uh, I went from a B to a B flat, making it a half step lower. So all of my Bs, whether they're here on this line right there or way down here, it's gonna be a B flat, first valve, first valve. So this flat right there makes all of my Bs B flat to first valve. Or if you had a, a high B up here, it'd be B flat first valve instead of middle valve. Now what if we add also uh, the next flat, B, E, we're gonna put it in this E space, the heart of this flat right there. And it's, uh, so we're gonna, that would mean all of our E's up here would not be open E anymore, it would be middle valve. Your low E down here would be valves two and three. Got it? Okay, it lowers all of our E's a half step from, like from down here from one and two to two and three. And uh, now let's add another flat, B, E, a, we put it on the A space. No, it's, notice it's doing this little zigzag pattern, bump, 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 like that. So all of our A's right here now become A flat. And that's gonna be valves two and three. And then if you have a high, or let's say you have a low A also down here, instead of valves one and two, it's gonna be valves two and three. Let's add one more flat here the flat to the D line right there. That means all of your Ds, whether they're up here on this line or down underneath, they're gonna be D flat. Now, you could think, well, what is a D flat fingering? If it's normally, if without that flat, it's gonna be first valve. Well, we wanna make a half step lower. We're gonna add the second valve. And you could also think of it as like a, a C sharp. It's gonna be valves one and two. Or you could think this guy right here, uh, you're, it's the same thing as a C sharp. If it's a D flat, it's gonna be valves one, two, and three. All right, so I hope that kind of clears up some things. And remember, if you have some notes in, in here and the, have an accidental here and you cross over that bar line, that bar line, uh, once you have that accidental there, it will zap away whatever accidental you have in that measure. And you go back to the original playing rules that you had in the key signature. So hopefully that'll help you a little bit as you deal with key signatures. And also you'll 
you'll notice that you'll every once in a while a piece of music sometimes it changes keys and so you'll have a double bar just like this you'll just put one right here a double bar and then they might have a different key signature right there and then you go by those playing rules and you got to pay attention to that what i tend to like I, what i like to do is i'll take a highlighter and i'll highlight all my key changes and then sometimes i'll even mark with a red pen uh, all those just to remind myself of those notes that either are flat or now sharp and that keeps me from uh, Making a bad mistake while I'm in a band rehearsal. So hopefully that helps you in understanding key signatures on the trumpet <laughs>